position and wait for my go. Hi guys, so for today, uh, what we're going to do is that we are going to set up a file in our Adobe Illustrator for multiple pages. So this is some examples of the books that have multiple pages and then the finishings is uh, using stapler and then the papers are folded. So this is uh, like a normal book as you can see over here is stapler binding as the finishings and this is uh, normal books what we, we, we can find uh, and then we are going to set up the file in our Adobe Illustrator for this particular books. As a start, we are going to create a mockup. Okay, so a real life mockup like this will help you a lot in determining the location of the number of pages and then how many pages and unboxed that you need for Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see over here, we have three pages. So that means in Adobe Illustrator, we will be able to need to, uh, six artboards in total. Okay, because uh, one surface area is considered as one artboard. So one piece contains two surface area. So one piece equals to two artboards. So in total, we will have six artboards and we will arrange the uh, location of the pages based on these mockups. Here I mark the, all the pages uh, using a pen uh, for my references and then you guys should do too and make sure you get all the numbering done in these particular pages. So I'm going to show you examples how the numbering is done. Uh, so you can see uh, based on this uh, numbering, uh, this is the location of the pages. So we will uh, reflect uh, on these particular mockups to have the same pages into Adobe Illustrator artboard. Now we have opened Adobe Illustrator, so we're going to replicate what we have done within the small mockups into uh, Adobe Illustrator. And you will notice that uh, using the small mockup that you have done just now is going to help you a lot. Okay, so from there we're going to uh, assumes that the book is A4, doesn't matter what size, you can always click new and then input your custom size, but for now we're just going to make it to A4 size. Okay, so uh, since uh, the book is going to be A4 on close, so it should be uh, A3 on open. Okay, so I'm going since uh, A3 and then I'm going to choose a uh, horizontal, okay? So uh, since uh, the number of pieces of the pages, as you can see on one side is three pieces, and then on the other side is another three pieces, all right? So we're going all together should have a six uh, art box all together, okay? So, and then after that, click on create. Okay, so uh, the number of pieces of the surface area that you saw just now uh, will be reflected into your artboard. Okay, so now uh, we have the artboard already over here. What we're going to do over here is uh, separate uh, the artboard into its individual pages. Okay, so from there what we can do, uh, we show our ruler and then we're going to use guides to separate it. So drag from here and then to align the guide in the middle of the artboard, you should able to find uh, aligns. Okay, aligns to artboard, click over here and then select your guides. So if you've got this log, you can unlock your guides by clicking view guides and then unlock guides. Okay, so you can move the guides accordingly and then click center. Okay, make sure it is aligned to artboard and, and the artboard is separated in the middle of this area. So you do the same for here as well. And drag the guides, click center, align center and do this one as well. Okay, so now you have a separation of artboard. And then after you have done this, what we need to do is to identify it uh, where are the location of the pages? 
Okay, so we're going to refer back to uh, the small mockups that we have done before. Okay, now, after we have uh, identified uh, create the artboard, we can start to put the pages all together. Okay, so first of all, I want you guys to go to your uh, mockups where it have written over there cover and back cover. Okay, so uh, the first artboard we wanted to write over there cover. Okay, so I'm just going to make it bigger so it's easy to see and back cover. Back cover. Right, so and then after that, flip the uh, the first pieces of the mockups, and then you can see the second artboard will written over there. Page one, and then page number ten. All right, and then after that, uh, once ready, uh, 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 identified page number ten. Go to your next pieces. So the next pieces should be written over there is page number two. Page number two and page number nine. Sorry, use page number nine and page number two. Okay, just follow the mockup that you guys have done, and then I flip the mockups again. It says over there page number three which is over here and then page number 8 alright so and then bring on your last pieces uh, should be written over there is page number 4 and page number 7 and page number 4 And then lastly, the spread pages, which is the page number 5, page number 6, and then you can identify this one as a spread page. Okay. Spread page. Okay, so uh, now you already know all the alignments and uh, the location of your pages so you can start to design your book according to the content that you have attended okay so have a good day everyone and have to have a go in uh, setting up multiple pages for books uh, that's uh, specifically for staple binding have a good day everyone